Good evening, Eternum. War correspondent John Chalant here on the Monarch's Bluff today, hosted by the Landlords, who open up their event out onto the field to receive... What is going on? Again with the UI! Always off to a bad start. The forces of Hex Akon come spilling out of the camp. All the forces on the field skirmishing, battles ensuing everywhere, conflict rising, horns blowing, as the forces of Hexacon, Covenant forces if I'm not mistaken, challenge the marauders of landlords for the right to rule the Bluff of Monarch. Large forces around the Bravo objective fight and folds as it does. A little bit of healing right of this objective. Oh, off, to the, uh, off to the left on Alpha. No activity from here. I can see no activity. Off to the right on Charlie. No activity. Nobody guarding Charlie, it appears. It appears that uh, everybody's out here out in front of Alpha. Excuse me, Bravo. Bravo in front of us here. One archer on the back. Double checking on the horns, making sure everybody's playing the horns. That is all the action here on the Monarch's Bluff. As the newcomers to the island, Hexacon, Excuse me. To be clear, this is hex a -con. Not to be confused with the syndicate forces of one word, Hexacon. Covenant forces of hex a -con. Zealots of unknown intention. One with the spark. Here to... Oh! Somebody has gone down. Gone down. I don't see anybody in need of aid. I cannot go and help them. I could. I should say I sh should not. I don't know where they are. Uh, so I will not at this time. That is the decision. Because as a war correspondent... Oh! Big horn blast over there off to my left, giving everyone the big power up for the fight unfolding in front of me here again on Monarch's Bluff. The rightful rulers currently, the landlords... Got a little, little something there. Somebody, I think somebody took a dig at me. Remember the landlords holding Monarch's Bluff. The forces, covenant forces of hex a -Con, attempting to adversely possess the bluff newcomers to the island refugees are always welcome here on the server enjoying their experience here as the fight unfolds in front of me oh uh, once again i'm going to fall back here and get down on the ground ladies and gentlemen it's time to go over the rules of war correspondent the first rule of war correspondence here is don't die stay alive don't die, stay alive is the first rule of war correspondence. And while I'm sitting here thinking about it, let me show you what we're fighting for here today. The battle between the Covenant forces of Hexacon. Not ongoing Thursday, December 31st. Once again, the time travel vertexes here surrounding the island. Always a strange moment when over 100 individuals are casting themselves into the LARPCO simulated fantasy combat resolution event. As you can see, all bodies on Bravo, student body Bravo, student body, excuse me, Bravo, all hands on Bravo. Alpha Point on the beach side, nobody's there, and then Charlie Point uh, has open field. Considering War Correspondence Challenge number one, the encirclement of the camp, if they are so busy over there, they may not be so busy to come over here. As you can see, Bravo Point at 33%, but the fight is ongoing. Fight ongoing. Let's get another close peek at it. Let's get in real close here. We've got... Uh, oh, that person dropped to the ground. I suspect they didn't mean to roll forward like that. That happens sometimes. But as you can see, the entirety of the battle ongoing in front of me. Oh, Voidwell over there. Oh, I see one, two, three. Oh, what is this madness? I saw three ice tombs go up over there. But uh, while we're here, we're going to kind of go out and consider... Oh, nope. There's one, two, two people coming over here. What is the first rule of war correspondence? Don't die, stay alive. So we're going to fall back into the keep. All right, we're going to take another look at it here in just a second. If you don't know the objective of this game, the objective uh, is to uh, <laughs> capture three of the objectives out front. The attacking team, in this case the Covenant Forces of Hex Ah Khan, have the Alpha Point off to the left. They are currently attacking the Bravo Point. They have divided point on the first fight now over. The recamp by Hexacon. Strike Squad on Charlie, as you saw. We escaped from that moment, or fell back if you ref prefer. prefer. More horns for the good guys. Little medium battle going on in Bravo. I think the A fight's the fight to go look at right now, so we're going to head over there and take a look. But first, 
Can I do? You know it. You know it. K-O-T-T -T can play them horns, son. Play them horns. Can I get away from this animation now? Um, that particular horn didn't give anybody a boost. That was just me <laughs> playing, playing some playing some horns so everybody can get a feel for it out there. Giving them a rhythm. Everybody got the boost. Everybody. Everybody did. Out here on Alpha on the beach side. Looks like a pretty even fight right now. I speculate that they might be at about 25%. I say that, it's probably at 90% in holding. Let's take a quick peek, shall we? Bam. Look at that, 25%. Bravo also at 25%. You know, that fight well under control for the good guys. A lot of blue over there. They're already beginning the rotation over here to the alpha side. Oh, you kind of caught me off guard, my own horn. Look at that. Look at that guy, blowing them horns. What a great job over there, Luma. Oh, yeah, great job. Great job. All right, everybody's over here fighting. I'm not going that way. Everybody's attention is that way. There's a small fight on the Bravo side. I'm going to come up here and take a peek. Oh, as the sun rises over the horizon here on the Monarch's Bluff, the Covenant forces of Hexacon, Inquisition inbound, challenging the current landlords of the Monarch's Bluff, the actual landlords of the Marauders. Over on the Charlie side now, a fight ongoing. Not super huge. But here come some trickling reinforcements. One, two, three, four. You know, a little bit of a fight over there. It might be too soon to go out and, and try to do the War Correspondence Challenge. If I'd have gone out early on that big Bravo push. The, the, wedge, the wedge is a classic, classic opener. You know, if you don't know what you're up against and you want to come out and just throw 45 to 50 people on the Bravo point and see who wins the fight. You know, not a bad decision. You come out and see what happens. This they happen to have one fight. The second fight broke down into an uh, an AC. They then had some reinforcements come through Bravo. Looks like it's now pretty much the Bravo point still looks like it's under control. They're trickling back in there. What's going on over here on Alpha? Again, excuse me. This is Charlie's side over here. This would be wow. Come on, get up, JC. There we go. There we go. Come on over to the Charlie side. Get down on Charlie. A lot of blue over here. Charlie's going to be well under control. Here comes one or two, three, four extras. No, they're, one of them's changing their mind. They already know that they're not going to get that. Whoops. I beg your pardon. Beg, beg your pardon, Lumi. All right. We're going to go over here. and if they're responding to that, then this might be breaking up. The Bravo fight. Wow, the sun really coming up over the horizon here. Playing into the eyes of the defenders. The Covenant forces of Hex Akon really did well in climbing, timing their invasion such that uh, even though they'd be, they'd be fighting downhill, all right? So the defense would be fighting from the downhill position. We're also, I say we, and by we, I mean the, I am the neutral party in this event. KOTT News, a tournament's number one source for news, hashtag both. <laughs> or not impartial observer in this particular encounter. The fight ongoing right out in front of Bravo. Looks like we're going to get a little bit of camp spawn here as the second and third and possibly fourth fight kind of dissolve until here we are. We're probably sitting right at around 10 minutes into the fight. Let's see how much time we got left here. Yeah, nine minutes in. All points well under control. The forces of Landlord, rotation on point. They're not even considering yielding one of the points yet. And as far as I can tell, they really look like they're looking to keep all three points for the time being. No fatigue as yet from the offense it appears that they're still uh, maintaining some degree of group effort here on the alpha side they've sent another medium party in it's going to be an even fight here on alpha we'll see how that goes for now it's not on point and the pieces that are are mostly blue and we got two three guys four guys on overwatch on that that's gonna blue's gonna win that fight let's come back over here to to bravo bravo nobody's at bravo Unique opportunity for JC to go and get the uh, War Correspondence Challenge hangout on Bravo. Is that person? What, are you just hanging out there? You better get going. I chewed at him to get him, you know, going. But that's uh, it's against the rules as a non-combatant. Official LARPCO representative of this event. War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News, a term's number one source for news. We're here to show you, tell you what's going on. Don't just tell, show. Don't just show, tell. The fight on going on Alpha side. Still looks like Blue's well under control. Here, I'll take a peek. 25%, but slowly falling back. 
Charlie over on that side looks like it might be having something. I might have an opportunity here to go for the War Correspondence Challenge. Let's get up here and take one more peek over on this side. Oh man, that's a lot of action. I have a long way to go. And this is the long way to get around there. I know that I can get up onto those rocks. And then rock around and rock around and rock around. But if somebody comes out there after me, it is over. And the first rule of war correspondence is don't die. Stay alive. Alright? Don't die, stay alive. Don't take any damage. You know, try not to make any damage. You're on a mission of peace. Trying to broker a, a truce between these people. For those of you who don't know... <laughs> for those of you who don't know the... Uh, <laughs> Oh, we're going for it. Who don't know the story uh, of uh, of the citizens of Eternum. They are re routinely trying to get all of these three factions. Oh, man, they're going to see me plain as day, man. There is no way they don't see me. i got to stay low and possibly slow. Right? All right. The citizens would prefer we all determine what is going on with the corruption and take care of that. And such that I have followed the main storyline to the point that I have spoken to a couple bears about uh, corrupting the island with blight. No, blighting the corruption. Boy, oh boy. Well, since then, I haven't really discovered what else more there is to do. Investigative reporter John Chalant on the scene. You know, I will discover what's going on. It's just that I've been awfully busy. Covering the news out here in these wars. All right, look at this. Okay, they won't be able to see me. Now remember, the War Correspondent's Challenge is to encircle the enemy encampment or fort. In this case, it is an encampment. Now I know I can get up over these rocks. I know I can. I think I can get around them all the while, the, all the way. Oh, and there's a cave that I could probably cut through. Yep, all right, I'm cutting through here. Any saltpeter? Alright, no, no saltpeter. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Just in case. Doesn't look like anybody was. Alright, Alpha Point again. No, uh, that's Charlie Point there under attack. Here, let me get up here and... Man, if I came around a corner and ran into somebody right now, I would be doomed! Unless they didn't want any of this. You know, or maybe they were just thinking, hey, I don't want to, I don't want to start any trouble. I'm up here looking around. Alright. All right, all right, here we go. Ooh, I heard somebody else fall down. All right, the Charlie Point under attack by the forces of Hex Archon. Still as yet not to have captured it. Bravo, until <laughs> until just that moment, appeared to be completely under control by the forces of the Landlords. Landlords Association proving themselves to be one of the stronger marauder forces that have come onto the island. Quickly gaining ground in three distinct regions under various banners. Typically under the banner hung today. The flagon. Oh, 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 is that the wall? Oh man, okay, so I'm riding the wall now. This is gonna be, this is gonna be the part where it's, man, okay, saving the boosts. I've got on five, all right. On one, I have food. Hearty meal. On two, ooh, ouch. On two, I have health potion. On three, I have energizing meal. On four, where do I have my stuff? I just think, I'm trying to remember. Three, four, five. Three, four, five. Three is food. Four is health potion. Five is speed potion. Speed potion. There's a fight over here on the alpha side. I gotta be mindful of any participants, okay? Okay. All right, gang. Now you've you've put up you've put up with an awful lot of me uh, doing this. Hey, I remember this side. This is where my very first uh, Monarchs Bluff war correspondent was from the attack side. Look at this over here on the Alpha side. The fight ongoing on the point. The forces of Hexagon giving the forces of Landlords a run for their money. Some might say, unlikely. Oh, oh, down goes down goes. Down goes Charlie. Charlie Point under control by the forces of Hexacon. The forces of Landlords falling back into a 2-1-2 between the forces, uh, excuse me, the objectives. Bravo and Alpha here on the Alpha side. 
Looks like they're well under control. Here comes an interesting flank. No fighting on the way over here from the points of Bravo. Are they yielding from Bravo over here to Alpha? Or Q uh, that all right, all right. Perhaps that's what's going on. i got to check my back. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm going to ghost man myself into the, into the keep here and declare myself encircled because I could go over there. I could go into that door, and we could call that official war correspondence challenge number one complete completely encircle circle the enemy camp well what a terrible shot i am so sorry what a terrible shot uh we're gonna call that encircle the camp war correspondence challenge number one completed brought to you by larpco larpco patent sim excuse me patent pending foam core technology uh-oh okay okay i saw those two guys coming don't die stay alive you know the rules don't die stay alive well under control. Let's get in here. Let's get in here. Am I pressing the E button? Can I... Am I allowed to get in? Use. Yeah, okay. Woo! Pitter-patter, pitter-patter, pitter-patter. Okay. <laughs> let's reset the clock. Or rather, let's recheck pause for station identification. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by LARPCO and its Space Age patent pending phone core technology. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. Additional consideration. Presented, uh, presented, presented by hashtag KOTT News, a turnum's number one source for news. Picks, because it happened. The entire history of the Eternum server since day one swimming ashore. Check it out on YouTube. John Chalant. That's J C H A L A N T. J Chalant. I go by J C, so it's always been J C. It's John Chalant. As the fight unfolds on Bravo. Whoops, nobody trying to shoot me from the Charlie side. Surely we're approaching the 15 minute mark. Let me go ahead and. Fall back a little bit here and get into position for this part of the report. Yeah, oh, 12, 13 minutes left in the match. The forces of Hexacon have secured Charlie objective. They're a little behind schedule if they feel like they're going to progress beyond this. Looking at the way, oh, looking at the way the landlord forces have been playing and now energized by the horns being blown with such eloquence. <laughs> as to inspire the brawl ongoing before them. The participants, the combatants. Oh, look at this. Hexacon classic. Classic embankment flank. They're going to come up and around and try to get on. Let me get over there and uh, get over to Charlie. It's unlikely to be successful. <laughs> uh, the embankment flank rarely works. Uh, but, it you know, you see people do it. It does work sometimes. It's just you really got to catch somebody off guard to have that happen. And here they ran past what I presume would have been a healer and a, there's an archer. So maybe they were looking for that backline healer. That's usually what they're up to when they're trying to do something like this. Let's see here. That's a pretty even fight. Medium, medium. Actually, Red's taking a... Heck, the forces of Hexacon taking a little advantage now, but back comes the landlord. Back come the landlords, if you'll excuse me. Back onto the point. Ah, Void Gauntlet in. Little little hammer action, some healing going on over there. Yeah, that's going to be well under control for them again. The forces, oh, look at this little backline action. Uh, let's, oh, it's a solo play. Oh, no, 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 I can't get to you. No, I can't get to you. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, 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 I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, no. Okay. Well, I would have rest you. The War Correspondent Challenge number two. Let's support somebody, get them alive. Uh-oh. I should fall back a little bit here. All right. A lot of action over there. A lot of action over here. I should get up on those ramparts there and get a really good angle. I'm, I don't want to... I, I want to give you guys a, a fair and accurate... Come on. A fair and accurate uh, attempt to get in there. And I believe I have. I believe I have. And I, I don't want to die. But, you know, this... I want to make sure this 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 let's let's treat it legit, right? Let's treat it legit. All right, this is going to give me a good view over both ramparts. Excuse me, this rampart will give me a view over both. Let's check out the Merlons and Crenellations. All righty, look at this. The Bravo fight. Oh, it's oh fatigue is completely set in for the forces of Hexacon over on Bravo. Look at that skirmishes throughout the middle section. <laughs> 
no attempt. Well, maybe there's a small party here trying to rotate in through the back line. Maybe that group's rotating through on that side clockwise, but it really looks like a, a group of about 20 individual efforts out there ongoing. You know, individual tests of merit, uh, as successful as that might be for some people. Over here, oh, a little tighter. Ouch. Ow. Somebody just went down over there. I am so sorry. Let me just get over there and see what's going on. See what's going on over here. Getting in close. All right, this fight a little, little tighter here. I think there's a little more focus over on this A fight for the forces of Hexacon. Not to be confused with the Syndicate forces of Hexacon. One word. Nobody's on bonfire. They're totally beachside down on the beach road. Ah, man, the rotation over by landlords far too quick. These guys. Sorry, guys. You're, you're just the swing, the swing attack. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, that's a bet. Here we go. There you go. Good camera. Ladies and gentlemen, attacking side. I don't know what's going to happen after uh, after next week. Whatever. We'll see what happens. But up to this point, swing attacking, respawning through camp in a constant trickle back and forth. You, It's not working. you got to show up with at least 30 people on a point to even move the needle. Really? Really? You know? And then, whoops, wrong button. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Here we go. Down on Bravo. This might be a 50-50 fight. Let's check the numbers. It is not. But it looks like it could be at any second. Let's see what happens here. I don't know how long the spawn waves might be. Having not as yet died, managed to stay alive like a boss. Let's see here. Forces of Hex Akan fighting on the left side. Our left, your television left, if you will. Oh, somebody coming in on the back line. A little rotation over from the alpha side. Here comes here comes Landlord's rotation over. They're going to sweep through those guys pretty quickly. Uh, let's see. There's a small group left on the right side now. If you see the gate off in the distance, a group of five came out. They're being pushed back. Now 10, maybe 11. They're coming out and being spread out as uh, they're trying not to be caught up in the fight on going on the road between Camp and Bravo. Half going towards Alpha now. The other half being pinched going towards Charlie. Yes, why would they go towards Charlie? They've already successfully captured Charlie. Uh, my mouse, there we go, not interacting appropriately. Some, for some reason, ladies and gentlemen, uh, well, you know the reason. <laughs> the, the UI uh, interface, the interface in general, let's just say it's a quality of life issue, and I understand why it's not top tier list uh, bug, uh, bug issue. Yeah, or, you know, they're not going to deal with it anytime soon. When they do, I'll be happy. But there's no rush. Look at this. Speaking of rush, we're running out of time. Prob presumably entering the final third of the period. Seven minutes to go. Seven minutes to go. Brought to you by LARPCO Space Age Patent Pending Phone Core Technology. Safety. Protection. Durability. Remember, if it's not LARPCO, it's cardboard. Wow. Push back down onto the beach again. The rotation is just too severe. It's not even a 2-1-2 two, two anymore. It's more like a 1-3-1 one, one with a couple of, uh, yeah, two main bodies just hanging out. And then one 30-team Zerg coming in left and right, cleaning up. Half of them presuming know when, knowing when to leave early and half of them knowing when to hang out, you know. Well under control now. Well under control by the forces of landlords. Settling back into a defensive posture. Soft zone all around the objectives. At this point, they may consider subbing members of the community into the fight. I s suspect they could if they had members that wanted to just jet right now. That the people on deck in the war list would be able to come in. I wonder if that's a truth. Is that a truth? Let's check out the fight again. Remember, we have accomplished the War Correspondence Challenge. We took the long path woo, through the cave, actually. The special challenge, the Turkey Leg Hollow. This one goes out, uh, Turkey Lake Hago goes out to Turkelon. Turkelon event and... Oh, 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 down goes Vilmar. No, Vilmar! I I know Vilmar. Vilmar's a friend of mine. An acquaintance. An acquaintance. Uh, was a leader at one point of a company, I believe, Kokiotos. Or perhaps one of the Kokiotos variants. Just checking out, making sure nobody's coming over to get me. As I'm getting in close for the shots here, excuse me, I didn't mean to leave that on too long. Bravo under control, a little bit of a skirmish over here. If 
Oh, look at that. More coming in from Charlie. This could push something on Bravo a little bit. There's a large number of people on Bravo with Phyllis. At the very least, those words trying to escape my mouth so very, very quickly. Fight in front of the hemp. No! No, it's only day 58. It's got plenty to go. Well, actually, that thing's as purple as that is. It's presumably much further along into flower than that. All right. Well, maybe not day 58 of flower. Maybe <laughs> certainly longer than day 58 of grow. All right. Bravo point I'm going to leave alone for a while as we come up over on the hill here and take a closer look on the alpha, making sure nobody's trying to get us. Not going to do the counter rotation here. Excuse me a second. You're going to clear my throat. Let me give you a good look at this, though. <clears throat> Back in the action. Stand up. Sit down. Ice Tomb here is about to get obliterated. Boom. One, two, three, four people. Oh, that didn't take very long at all. I, I'm sorry. I don't mean to giggle at your moment there, but... Welcome to the LARPCO experience. Can't bring cardboard out here. Oh, wow. That guy... Could have made a play on me. Of course, I have... Oops, let me look intimidating somewhere. I've reserved the right to uh, protect myself. But I'm glad to see it didn't need to happen this time. And the forces of Hexagon valiantly, still valiantly, attempting to take an objective here in the final moments of this LARPCO sponsored event here in Monaco. Monaco. And Monarch's Bluff, excuse me. It's a beautiful morning. The sun no longer a factor in the battle, perhaps contributing to the loss of Charlie, but no more. These two over here are about to get, no, there's three over here. That guy might get wrecked. Look at that. Nope. Team Blue forward progressing the camp, as they like to say, trying to intercept the respawn wave. Uh-oh. We got a little, little encounter coming in from over here, so I'm going to go ahead and double time it back to the objective of don't dying and staying alive -ing. Do I... How close... Come on. I mean... Is it me? Is it me? How much time we got left? Three minutes left in this officially sponsored LARPCO simulated fantasy combat resolution. If you've got a beef... <laughs> don't... <laughs> take it up with the patent-pending phone core technology of LARPCO. Put your foam fingers on and then have... <laughs> wow. I'm... So I'm not even going to comment on that. Here we go. This looks like one of the final fights over on the Alpha side. They might have pushed a lot of their effort in there. Maybe not. No, that's a small group. What's going on over here? Skirmish. Skirmish. Skirmish and fatigue on Bravo. Ladies and gentlemen, two and a half minutes left in this one, but this one is over. This one is over. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give these guys a refreshing horn. That's right. Everybody be cool. Everybody relax. Everybody relax. Don't get injured. Don't get injured <laughs> outside of the simulated Mortal Kombat ongoing. Yeah, don't sprain a knee or an ankle. Remember, when you're exhausted, it's important to make sure you exercise proper te technique more than ever. More than ever. That, for example, was the dolphin dive. Lemmy, I believe the name was. Let me double check. Who do we got here? Lumi. Lumiala. Lumiala, thanks for keeping an eye on the ramparts. Look at you just... Oh, the stepped out. That's the five-shot one. I, I specced into that once. That was kind of fun. I like, the, uh, <laughs> I like having two that I can load in, and I got one that's like a hip buster. So, uh... Yeah. Ooh. I, oh, look at that. Here, let me get out of your way lest I get underfoot. Excuse me. Blunderbuss coming up. Stay tuned for that special announcement video coming. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Try to come up with something every day. After all, something does happen every single day in this game. How do people say this game It doesn't have something to do? I don't even know. I don't even know. There's so much stuff to do, I can't even play the game. <laughs> As the war unfolds in front of us in the final moments of this LARP co-sponsored simulated fantasy combat event between the Hexacon forces, excuse me, the Covenant forces of Hex-A-Con. Not to be confused with the Syndicate forces of Hexacon. One word. Those are your attackers, your defenders. The noble monarchs of the bluff. The landlords. 
No slumlords indeed. Constantly working on improving things. <laughs> Except in Cutlass Keys. Wait a minute, was that them? Somebody lost an arcanery earlier. <laughs> oh, I don't want to besmirch anybody. Yeah, I don't know where it was, so scratch that last bit. I won't, I won't edit it. I'll keep it in because I'm too lazy. All right, what's going on over here? Victory. That's it. Real quick, let's check our numbers. Were we dead last? We were 100.